37. Which member of each pair of metals is more likely to corrode, also known as oxidizing? So, if I have a sample of magnesium or calcium, which one would oxidize or corrode faster? Well, this comes all down to knowing the half values with their cell potentials. That's their E values, right? So I just went into a back of a textbook, the appendix values, to find out what the calcium cell potential is, negative 2.868 volts, and the magnesium is negative 2.372 volts. And we want to know which one wants to corrode or oxidize, right? When something is corroding, it's always oxidizing. But the thing is, is that when you do look at those half reactions, I notice that the electrons are on the left side. So the half reactions in the back of the textbook are always going to tell me reduction values, not oxidation. These are not corrosion equations. So the thing is, when you look at these E values, since we're in reduction world, the positive the number, the higher the number, the more chance that it wants to be reduced. So that means that the higher the number is reduction, the lower the number is oxidation, and that's where corrosion happens. So oxidation is corrosion. So all we have to do is just look at these values. Which one is the more negative value? Negative 2.868 volts is lower than negative 2.372. So we know that if we did have a sample, calcium would corrode first. And that is the final answer. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Thanks for part being part of this community. And I hope you're doing well out there. Keep studying hard. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.